Hi cuties, my name is Hanako Kozumi and this is the channel Nerdy Nekoma. Everything here is about Haiku Jet stories and fanfic. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. And with that, welcome to today's video. In other words, the worry of a snow fox. It's the next part of the Aaron Keto parts in like um, the Nightmare series and the Tops Cat 6 slash Injured. This is also the final part for now, though if you want me to do more Aaron Keto in the future, write it in the comments and I might do that. I really like writing this, it's more on the hard comfort side, but with fluff, so yay. And now let's go, I hope you will like it. Have you ever had struggles finding good Haikyuu merch or anime merch in general? Because I for sure did. It can be hard. But this shop offers amazing merch. Like, I'm literally obsessed with the Haikyuu merch. They have the cutest hoodies ever. Now, if you want to get 10% off, click the link in the description. They offer me a collaboration, which is literally amazing. And you support my channel this way. So, win-win. Let's go. Aaron groaned as he was shaken awake, carefully but firmly. He blinked, trying to regain orientation in the still very much dark room until he was met with the kind eyes of one of the nurses. He smiled at him, giving the ace a moment to wake up. Good morning. The spiker raised an eyebrow, making them both chuckle a bit. I got up around 4, so yeah, I would consider this morning. He smiled again, and Aaron genuinely appreciated his positive nature, though it was hard to understand how someone could be this motivated this early in the morning. He felt like he could fall back asleep any second. So would you say you're awake enough for a quick vital check? He nodded sluggishly and tried to follow his orders to the best of his abilities. It wasn't until he was taking his blood pressure that his eyes started to wander through the room again and something caught his attention. There in the corner sat a certain silver-haired, very familiar boy. Kita? Huh? The nurse looked up confused, following his gaze to the captain. Oh yeah, the night staff told me about him. Curiously, Aaron's brows ferret. What was he doing here? More importantly, when did he get here? Aaron knew for certain that Kita hadn't been here the evening before. Came in here in the middle of the night, looked like a mess from what I heard. All worried and on edge. He asked to visit you and since it's certainly a file that you gave him permission to, he was allowed in. Stayed here all night, though I heard he was fast asleep shortly after he arrived. He removed the device from Aaron's arm, who still couldn't help but stare at Kita. A mess? On edge? That... Didn't sound like him at all, let alone the fact that he appeared here out of nowhere in the middle of the night. He blinked a couple of times, incredulous at what he had been told. Sounds crazy, doesn't it? The nurse grinned and Aaron nodded slowly. Well, I guess you will know it best. He's your boyfriend, right? He nodded again, and this time a small smile spread on his face. They had been together for a while now, yet he couldn't help but get a warm, fuzzy feeling in his chest whenever he was reminded of it. Young love, isn't it adorable? Well then, your vitals look good. You will get examined by a doctor later in the day, again to make sure everything is healing as it should, and with a bit of luck you can go today. Try to sleep a bit more, and if anything happens, just press the call button. 
He waved him goodbye before Aaron even got the chance to reply. His eyes lingered on the door for a bit where he had left before focusing back on Kita. Everything the nurse had told him sounded so out of character for the captain. After noticing his presence, the tiredness vanished at once as a bunch of questions inhabited his mind. So he waited. There was not much else he could do and waiting didn't sound so bad. His heart skipped a beat. So Kida had been worried about him, huh? He came here in the middle of the night just for him. Ashinska. Aaron? He smiled softly. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Kida shook his head gently, yawned and rubbed the sleep from his eyes. Suddenly, Aaron's cheeks started burning up and he turned red. He had never seen his boyfriend wake up before. Kida was always the first one up, greeting him with a mug of green tea and sometimes even breakfast when they had a sleepover. In all honesty, his mother adored him for that and Kida was as polite as always. But this was the first time he saw him sleepy and it was cute. Hmm? What is it? N nothing. Kida furred his brows and moved closer. You are totally right. Should I go get a nurse? Maybe you have a fever. That could be a sign of an infection and needs to be taken seriously. He reached out a hand, but Aaron caught it mid-air. No, I'm fine. I promise. I... I just thought you looked... cute. That's all. Kida gave him a puzzled look while he avoided eye contact and only threw short, unsure glances in his direction until he noticed something. Oh. Now that he was so close, he could see dark circles under his eyes and the lines on his face that, that looked like they were means of tears. Kita. He reached a hand out and gently kept his cheek caressing the soft skin and wiping the traces away. Kida just looked at him, observing his actions and ever so slightly leaning into his touch. What happened? I... His breathing accelerated a bit and he gulped. I don't know. His eyes turned glossy again. It took Aaron off guard. Seeing Kida cry it was close to unheard of. I woke up and... And I thought you... I thought... He gulped again. It was a dream. It wasn't real. I don't know why it affected me so much, but I suddenly had to know that you are alright, so I ran here. It was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Just that I had to. His hands grabbed the sheet. Aaron softly placed his own on top and waited patiently for Kida to finish his explanation. I'm sorry that I showed up so suddenly. I should have told you beforehand and visited at the appropriate hours. I came because it felt like nothing else could convince me that it was fake. Only seeing you was good enough and I know that makes no sense. I don't understand myself. I don't. The first tear fell and he looked to the ground. Hey, it's okay. You were afraid. That's perfectly normal after what happened. But why? I knew that you weren't... I know that you are going to be alright. 
He breathed heavily and Aaron watched him with growing concern. Could it be that because he usually explained things rationally and didn't express his emotions in an expansive manner that if one ended up strong enough to break through his facade, it overwhelmed him? Aaron's hand closed around Kita's wrist and he pulled him closer. He pulled him into a tight embrace and just held him close, unsure of what else to do. He was equally unprepared as the silver head in his arms and just followed his instinct. A soft sniffle echoed through the room as Kita accepted the invitation, clinging to his chest like a koala. He didn't say anything, didn't do anything but hold on to him and fight his own tears. He was a mess. It was hard to believe, but right now the infamous Kida was a mess. Not that anyone would ever believe him that if he told them, not that he intended to do so. Wouldn't want to give the twins the wrong idea. Then again, he doubted that there was anything that could make them not afraid of their captain. Understandably so. Aaron smiled to himself while drawing soothing patterns on Kida's back. A silver hair listened to his heartbeat and focused on the calming rhythm while registering the soft touches and slowly the tension in his muscles eased. Hey, Kita? Hmm? He hugged him tighter as if he was afraid Aaron would pull away again which made him chuckle a bit as he reciprocated the gesture. You know that it's okay to be afraid, even if you don't know the reason, or if it seems... irrational. The other said nothing, just nodded as a sign that he listened. I'm sorry that I caused you stress, though I'm kind of glad that you worry about me. It means that I'm at least a bit important to you. That got a reaction from his boyfriend. He sat up suddenly and looked at him with a newfound intensity. You aren't a bit important to me. You are very important. When you... When you fell that day, all I could think about was that you would be alright. That you had to be alright. Everything else wasn't an option. I was so lost. But... I would have done everything to help you and get you out of there. I didn't recognize myself. I acted almost as irrational as I did before, just that it would have had much bigger and much worse consequences. I hate that. I hate that I almost risked your life because I allowed myself to... to panic, I guess. No one expected you to be calm in such a situation. Who would have? Kida nodded slowly again, but didn't say anything. Come here, let's sleep for a bit more. Or just cuddle. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to keep you awake. You didn't. He sighed and pulled him closer again. He lay down together and Kida placed his head over Aaron's heart again. That day, you only felt because of me, right? Because you saved me. Hmm, maybe. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. What if I don't want you to? Then that would be the one request I could never fulfill for you. Kida seemed more than unsatisfied with the answer, and Aaron heard something that sounded almost like a small hop. You did the same, didn't you? I didn't fall off a bridge to save you from some bicycles. You risked your life and help to save me. Not like that. True. You were smarter about it, but that's not really all that surprising, is it now? 
He soothingly patted his arm and placed a tender kiss on his hair. Let's rest now. If you still want to talk about it tomorrow, we will. The silver heart nodded. I love you. Aaron's breath hitched. He stilled while trying to process the words. This was the first time Kira said this to him, and it started a wildfire in his chest. His heart was beating rapidly against his ribs. When he looked down, Kira was already asleep again, leaving him alone with a feeling and very much awake. Damn, how was he supposed to sleep now? Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you liked it. As you know, I'm still a bit inexperienced with Aaron Kida, but yeah, I hope this turned out well. I I, I do kind of like how it turned out, so yeah. <laughs> um, also, I'm a bit sorry that the quality might not be as perfect today. Not that it's ever really perfect, but let's put that aside for a second. It's just, I'm really tired right now. It's, I think, 3 or 4 a.m., but I don't care because I want to get this finished. Anyway, if you liked the video, Please leave a like because it really helps me to grow and if you don't want to miss out on anything in the future, consider subscribing because it would be amazing to have you here. And I hope you have a wonderful and amazing day. Damn, I should go to sleep.